Uh, hello, my name is Aneta Szyłak. I'm a curator based in Gdańsk, Poland, and I'm an artistic director of Alternativa International Visual Arts Festival. And um, I would like to invite you to uh, Alternativa this year, and our opening is May uh, 24th, and the show is on view until early October. And uh, the subject of the exhibition this year is the city and its title is Till Tomorrow, uh, Ideologies of City Planning and the Tactics of Dwelling. And uh, the exhibition uh, uh, is, uh, shows the uh, contradiction between the city planning and the systematic uh, concept of the city and the uh, tactics of uh, customization and inhabitation that is done by its users, by the uh, people who live in the city or visit the city. Uh, and this exhibition is informed by the philosophy of Michel de Certeau, who is the, 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 the one who makes this distinction between um, uh, strategy as a major plan and the tactics as um, the position of the of the user and it's almost 40 individuals who contribute to the festival and uh, among them uh, very young people young urban planners young artists uh, such as uh, such as uh, Łukasz Bugalski, who um, uh, analyzed the very center of the city and it's the history of its planning, and there are also uh, there is a number of artists who are um, legendary uh, um, um, feminist interpreters of the of the city, uh, people uh, like. Um, uh, women artists such as Marta Rosler, Suzanne Lacey or Eva Bartum. Uh, we have also um, a very uh, interesting uh, material that comes from different workshops done by uh, architects, urban planners and artists with the inhabitants of the city. There is a special project by Miroslav Bauka uh, that happens both in the public space and indoors. Um, uh, they are uh, films uh, such as a um, uh, film uh, by Oliver Rossler and Dario Azzellini uh, which, is, uh, which documents um, the uh, practices of participation of, in Venezuela. I think there will be also uh, a lot of interesting um, uh, documentary materials uh, coming mostly from uh, Steven Spielberg archive, uh, showing uh, the Dinsk in 1937 and 1946. So we can see the city before and after Second World War. So we can see the Gdańsk in the Nazi times and the Gdańsk completely destroyed by the war. So I think that Gdańsk is a very interesting case study for a uh, middle-sized European city. And uh, I think it's a very valuable experience for anyone who is interested in how, um, uh, the, uh, how Second World War influenced um, the uh, city planning in Central and Eastern Europe. And uh, I would like to invite everyone who is interested in the issue of urbanization, urban planning, architecture, participation, I think that for everyone uh, interested in those subjects and also interested in the contemporary art, contemporary art as such, should come here to Gdańsk to see.